Minecraft is a game that has been explored to the ends of the world and back. So you might think that this game has nothing left to hide. In fact, it has a huge secret right below your character's feet. Today we will be exploring one of the strangest and least explored parts of the Minecraft world, the Void. As many a Minecraft player knows, falling into the Void is a one-way ticket to losing all of your health points and inventory. But why? Why does the Void kill you? Johnny. <laughs> what if I told you that the Void is actually a black hole of epic proportions? To understand why I say this, we have to look at one of the strangest things ever imagined. Just to give a brief description, a black hole is a region of the universe where space is so curved and time is so compressed that nothing can come out of it. If you fall in, you are not coming back out. That certainly matches the void. Even in creative mode with your ability to fly, it is impossible to recover from a fall into the pixelated darkness. Since no light can escape from a black hole, they are, well, black. That matches the void too. This black hole theory also explains why your player character dies from falling into the void. Typically, falling shouldn't kill you. It's the landing impact that does. Using the equations from general relativity, scientists can show that falling into a black hole would kill you, however, and in a very strange way. Since gravity strengthens at an ever-increasing rate as you fall into a black hole, your feet and legs start to be pulled with more force than your head and upper body. Eventually, the difference in force would literally snap you in half, then again, and again, and again, as you fell further and further. The first snap might not be fatal, but you would cease to exist soon after. This is very analogous to what happens as you fall into the void. Successive chunks of your health vanish until the game over screen appears. One of the other well-known features of the Void is its continuous cloud of particles coming from it. Now this seems to contradict the earlier point about nothing escaping from a black hole, however, it doesn't. What I didn't mention earlier was that almost nothing can escape from a black hole. With one exception, incredibly tiny particles that spontaneously appear in polar opposite pairs before disappearing. Thanks to the laws of quantum mechanics, these tiny particles have a slight chance of suddenly moving faster than the speed of light and exiting the black hole in a process known as quantum tunneling. Once outside the black hole, these particles are known as Hawking radiation, named after the scientist Stephen Hawking. It is very possible that void particles are in fact Hawking radiation, since, aside from their exaggerated size, they have all of the properties of Hawking radiation. To see our final piece of evidence, we have to look at the void in a different way. If you've ever been in a Minecraft map with no floor, you might have noticed something odd. If you go high enough, you can see either the sun or the moon below you, depending on if it's day or night. Far from a bit of programming, this is actually a fantastic example of another phenomena black holes cause. Gravitational lensing. As the name suggests, this is caused by the gravity of the black hole curving space around it so much that light coming from all directions around it is bent as if looking through a lens or bouncing off of a mirror. Thus, the sun and moon you see aren't actually below you. The void is just bending their light in a way that makes it look like they are. Now, I'm sure that some of you will be questioning how the Minecraft world could possibly exist hovering just above the horizon of a black hole without being sucked in immediately. Since black holes have insanely strong gravity, right? Well, kind of. Black holes do have incredibly strong gravity at their singularities, at the very heart of the black hole. What we are looking at, however, is the horizon, where only the black hole's tidal gravity is pulling things in. Weirdly, as a black hole gets more massive, the tidal gravity at its horizon gets weaker. A good way to understand why this happens is to think of the surface of the black hole as a soap bubble. Since gravity is the curvature of space, the more curved the bubble is, the more tidal gravity it has. Now let's say we start inflating the bubble. As the bubble grows bigger in size, the surface becomes less curved, which means it has less tidal gravity. Since the horizon of the void is so big that it looks basically flat, its tidal gravity is tiny. Far too small to even pull in the bedrock floating right above it. And thus, we come to the conclusion that the void is a black hole and Minecraft is stranger than before. Just think. The next time you're falling into the void, you may be experiencing something the greatest physicists to ever live 
could only dream of. So stay awesome, and keep using that noggin. And by the way, I would love to thank Math Physics Nerd for all the help with this video. As a thank you, you should check him out by clicking his link in the description.